Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art Channel. I am working on a 24 by 36 inch canvas today and I'm doing another reflection swipe. I got a little carried away and excited and I already put down my base coat. So sorry about that <laughs> in case you wanted to see that. But this is Amsterdam uh, Lamp Black that I'm using as a base. And I am swiping today with a couple of colors that are new to me. This is uh, Folk Art Treasure Gold in the Blue Quartz, which is a really beautiful um, icy blue metallic color. And then I'm using another Folk Art Treasure Gold Fire Opal, which is a really interesting kind of, um, has a bit of a color shift to it. It's a dark, reddy, orange color. Um, very interesting color. I'm interested to see how that's going to react. And then I also have some deco art, a 24 karat gold that I'm going to put between those two colors because blues and reds sometimes make weird things, especially since they're metallics. I'm not sure how it's going to work, but um, I'm going to show you my consistency using the blue quartz. Gosh, look at that color. Isn't it gorgeous? It looks like silk. Uh, so this leaves a bit of a mound. It's uh, mixed three parts Floetrol to one part paint, and it does leave a little bit of a mound. This is thicker consistency than what Kathleen Osmore would use for her swipes. Um, and because my paints are a little bit thicker, I'm not using paper towels to swipe. I'm using a plastic file folder, really flimsy piece of plastic. But I find that with a thicker consistency paint, this grips onto the paint a little bit better and rather than actually getting right down to the canvas. So um, if I were to do use this on a really super thin consistency paint, um, then it would swipe too much paint. And if I tried to do a, um, a paper towel on top of this thicker consistency paint, it wouldn't pull enough. So that's why I'm using that. Okay, I think I'm ready. I'm just going to go ahead and put on some tunes for you and I'm going to uh, scrape out a section here in the middle where I'm going to layer my colors. I don't want that base coat underneath it. And I'm just going to scrape across like this. I am using a previously used canvas. So there is some color going to be underneath when I do this little scrape. <laughs> I'd be going crazy, I don't know what to do My heart is screaming for you, babe And what I'm trying to say is that you make the sky look blue Even when it is gray, babe Every time I'm feeling down, you can make it go away Your light is shining bright on me Got no reason to be afraid You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark I feel it in my heart You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark Yeah, you're glowing in the dark Stop looking at ya, you. you're like a firefly Guide me out of the woods now Oh, I think I lost my way but got you to help me back Tell me what I should do now Every time I'm feeling down You can make it go away Your light is shining bright on me Got no reason to be afraid You're glowing in the dark you're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark I feel it in my heart You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark Yeah, you're glowing in the dark
So here we have the wet results of my black and metallic um, reflection swipe. I'm super happy with this. These cells are incredible. I just mixed my paints with regular US flow trawl, three parts flow trawl to one part paint. And look at these snakeskin cells. Look at that, isn't that cool? I love the way that it goes from the blue quartz down into the gold. And then where I re-swiped, you can see some of the, um, uh, the um, what was that other color called? The fire opal, right. Oh, so pretty. I love those details. Lots and lots of cells. And on this side, I swiped with the blue um, as the first color. And then this side with the fire opal as the first color. Isn't that pretty? Wow. I love these colors together. The cells turned out really, really cool. I had to swipe this one a couple of times because it just would not keep a straight line. I left it to last to fix because I wasn't, sometimes I like those mistakes. Those mistakes look cool and add an organic texture to it. But this time I, I really wanted to keep the, um, the structured order of this. I did go back through in the, the bigger sections. I did go back through and swipe through the middle again, just to give it a little bit of variety but the cells came up just like they, they had before. This section over here is gorgeous. Look at this. This is my favorite section. It's so beautiful. I love that. And because there's always a little bit of paint that doesn't get swiped, so it gets stretched and it kind of frames each section. I like that about this too. Isn't that cool? It's like right there, look at that. All three of those colors stretching down and up. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. I hope you like it too. Um, I will have post uh, dry results on my Instagram page within the next couple of days. So thank you very much for watching and uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more and then come back and see me sometime.